custom cameras are cameras you can place anywhere in your track if you want to get a different view other than the normal game camera. In this lesson, we'll discuss common uses, like getting a wider view of big jumps, or getting a better look at memorable moments, and we'll discuss how to set a custom camera up. Custom cameras are located under Tools, Common, General, Custom Camera. Okay, the first thing we notice is the custom camera can be rotated and moved like any other object in the editor, but with a few extra visualizations. The dotted red line represents the center of the frame. If the camera is targeted to an object, which we will cover in just a moment, this red line will connect the camera to that object. The other visualization is the white dotted lines that come from the camera to connect to a rectangle. This represents the range and field of view of the camera. Alright, let's check out the custom camera properties. The first things here are nothing new, we've seen these in basic object properties. Alright, let's move down to enabled. This is the on off switch for the camera. If it's enabled, when the rider enters the camera range, the camera will activate. Unchecked, the camera will not activate. This will come in handy if you want to activate the camera based on another perimeter other than the game character's position, like using a camera event, which we'll discuss in a later lesson. Now, let's skip down to type. Here we have three options that determine what happens when the camera activates. Interpolate means that the camera will adjust from the view of the game camera. With this setting, the game camera does not appear to change. It simply looks like it moves to the position of the custom camera. With the cut setting, the view appears to cut to the custom camera position, just like editing a movie, from one camera to another. Cut and interpolate combines the two, so the view cuts to the custom camera first as the router enters the camera range, but as the router leaves the camera range, it will interpolate back to the game camera smoothly. Next is range. This is where you set the distance to activate the camera. So, if the camera is 25 meters away from the rider and the custom range is set to 20 meters, the rider will never enter the range and the camera will never activate. You can tell by the white dotted lines coming from the camera where its range is. When the player is within the boundaries of this line, the camera will activate. Keep in mind, if the rider is barely in range of the camera, it will not transition to 100% of the custom camera's view. So it's a good idea to give the range a bit extra to make sure it transitions to the view that you want. Okay, now let's move back up to advanced camera settings. Here we have a few different options that we did with the game camera. Field of view we've seen before. Interpolation amount determines how much the game camera changes to your custom camera if you have it set to interpolation and type. Set to zero, the view will stay on the game camera. And set to 100, the view will fully move to the custom camera position. With interpolation set to a lower number, while not giving you 100% of the custom camera view, can give you a smoother transition between the game camera and the custom camera. Interpolation speed determines how quickly the camera moves to the custom camera view. A value of 0 will be a slow smooth transition, and a value of 100 will be very quick. With custom cameras, you can choose to have the camera follow an object in the world. This can be the bike, the rider, or any other object you choose. Target is how you set what you want the camera to point at. Set the target to none, and the camera will not move or rotate. Set the target to object, and then select the object in the game world with the Select Target option. Now your camera will stay in the spot where you placed it, but the camera will pan and tilt to follow the target object as that object moves through the world. Next we have Use Position. With this box unchecked, the view will turn in the direction of the custom camera, but will stay in the position of the game camera. Checking this box, the view will move to the position and the direction of the custom camera. Next is Inherit Settings. Checking this box will set the custom camera visual settings to the same as your game camera. Use as game camera is next. Checking this box will use this camera instead of the game camera as the default camera. And lastly in this menu, we have Use as Replay Camera. Checking this box will use this camera when watching replays. Okay, back to properties, and lastly, we have Visual Settings. We've seen these settings before in the game camera lesson, so nothing new here. One more note about custom cameras. Remember, when using custom cameras, you want to make sure the player can see the router most of the time. Big changes to the camera can be jarring to the player and negatively affect gameplay. Try to avoid changing the camera too drastically. Nothing is more frustrating for players than to not be able to see what they're doing when they're playing. 